Haney Minds Baptist Church, this is Pastor Daniel. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. Pastor Sterling and I had the uh, privilege this morning of representing New Minus Baptist Church and laying a wreath on your behalf at the Cenotaph in Kenfwell. You know, the book of Romans chapter 13 tells us that we are to give honor and respect to those who it's due. And again, it was a privilege representing you the ceremonies um, this Remembrance Day this morning. Coming this weekend, we're excited to gather to continue on. We're drawing to the end of the uh, series in the book of Revelation regarding the seven churches. And then Sunday night, we're looking forward to coming together to pray and ask God's blessing upon the uh, initiative this year for the second year in a row of the live nativity. Do you know, this week as well, I received a call telling me that the light was on in the car that was uh, indicating low oil. You never want to see those kinds of lights come on in the car. And that also resulted not only in looking into that and taking care of it, but with some of my uh, young adult children, it just uh, a little crash course, a little mini clinic on what it is to check the fluids in the cars, um, oil, uh, coolant, and where, where you can check it, how you can top it up and fill it, and maintain and monitor those things. And of course, we know that's important. Uh, otherwise, things can overheat, come to a grinding halt, worse, blow up and lose engines, and we don't want that. It gets really expensive real quick. Do you know as well, we need to uh, realize the Bible, often uh, there's a parallel of the sweet oil of the Holy Spirit and the power and benefit of God's Spirit in our lives, and that we need to maintain being filled with the Holy Spirit in all that we do individually and especially as a church. Um, the narrative of the Christmas story right at the beginning in the Gospel of Luke, we see John the Baptist, how he was uh, to be filled with the Holy Spirit. His mother Elizabeth, we read, uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. Zechariah, filled with the Holy Spirit. And then, of course, when Jesus, uh, his life, his death, burial, resurrection, ascending back to the Father and sending the blessed power of the Holy Spirit upon the church under his headship. And all us as members so that we don't chafe at each other and grind and, and uh, wear upon each other in the machinery of the ministry in which we do. We need the sweet anointing and oil of the Holy Spirit to keep things running smoothly. And that's what we want to do, especially Sunday night. We're going to sing a lot of Christmas carols. We're going to sing our hearts out. We're asking you to bring some wonderful uh, Christmas cookies to share. And uh, we'll have some hot chocolate there that night. Christmas is all about giving as well. We want to give an opportunity uh, monetarily to give uh, toward the live nativity to help cover our expenses and go to our overall budget. And so I thank God for a generous church. And I thank the Lord that uh, along with the pastoral staff here in the church, our staff, our leaders, we are blessed to be a part of an amazing church. Um, close to 200 really have signed up already. Um, to be a part of the live nativity. And so we want to not just go through the motions, the machinery, but Sunday night, I hope you'll join us, especially on that night. Everyone come out, intergenerational. We're a family in Christ. And we're going to ask God to bless um, this initiative, this ministry of the live nativity. Thanks so much for hearing me out this morning and taking the time to click on this meandering. We just love you so much in the Lord.